Hello friends. Just the other day I read a beautiful article about how we form opinions about people. The article had in it about a story about a man moving around in the streets and uh, this man is very thirsty. He's standing in front of a flat and uh, he is looking around to find some solution to his uh, thirst. When all of a sudden uh, he sees a man on the first floor calling him out and asking him does he need any help. So this man presumes that uh, God had uh, heard him and this man had come as a kind of a rescue for him, a rescuer. And he tells him that, well, I'm very thirsty and can you uh, give me a glass of water? And the man says, uh, well, why not? Please come towards my house and I'm coming down. This man goes closer to the house uh, like, and he's so happy. He has already, f you can imagine what kind of opinion he might have formed about uh, this man. So that was his first opinion about the man. Now he had stood there for more than 10 to 15 minutes and he was waiting for the door to open and the door was not opening. So he must have formed a second opinion about the man that what has he done? He himself called him and now he is not opening the door. So this man must have had a second opinion about this man who was in the house. But after about 10 to 15 minutes, the door opens and he comes out and offers him a lemonade. He says, I, I took time because I thought instead of giving you just a glass of water, it'll be a good idea if I can give you a lemonade. Now, our man was uh, thirsty. He must have had a third opinion about this man of the house. But when he drinks the lemonade, he finds that it was very sour and had no sugar or salt in it. So probably he has a fourth opinion that what sort of a man is he? He was not able to prepare a lemonade. Is he making a joke, of, uh, joke out of me? But then the owner of the house, he takes out a pouch from his pocket and says, I've brought sugar separately. If you're finding that it's not to your taste, you can add on more salt or sugar to it. So the thirsty man must have had fifth opinion about the man. The point is, within a short period of time, we can have various opinions about people in our own lives also, like people we know at times with whom we come across uh, uh, for a day or two or three, maybe, we start forming opinions. You must have heard about uh, a 25 to 30 years old uh, son traveling with his father in the train and then the co-passengers find it very funny when the son starts pointing out to his father and uh, says, Father, look out. Uh, there are trees outside. Oh, look out, there is a man there. Oh, look out, there is a bullock. Uh, bu uh, th there are uh, motor cars outside. Father, look here, Father, look there. And the co-passengers, uh, they find it very funny that a 25 to 30 years old boy is uh, pointing out all these things. And then the father lets them know that they are returning from uh, his operation uh, where uh, he got back his eyesight and he is seeing the world after about uh, 20 years of time after he had lost his eyesight in an accident. So how quick we are to judge people. We should 
try to uh, avoid doing this. Even people we know inside the classrooms or among our colleagues who may appear to be very outspoken. We may have classmates who are good in debates, who are good in extempore, they win many prizes, but they may be introverts from within. On the other hand, we may have a, a known friend who is basically quiet, but when it comes to uh, expressing his views or her views, he or she are very capable of doing that. So it's a very mixed kind of uh, uh, world around us. We all are a mixture of uh, uh, various personalities. We don't know who is what. So unless and until we know a person very closely, we should avoid being judgmental. In order to make an opinion about a person, you need to know him well or know her well. Only then we should form opinions. Otherwise, I feel uh, we should respect each other. Thank you.